Sheridan, thanks so much for joining me today on Athletes Unplugged. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for having me. I know I am pumped for the first season of AU Volleyball, and I know you are too, but right now is a time for preparation. And I've seen on your Instagram that you have been doing my tie to prep for this upcoming season. Yeah, definitely. It's something that we added towards the end of my training. With Muay Thai, you have to have really quick re reflexes, and that's super helpful, especially in the game of volleyball. For example, if the setter dumps the ball, right, and you weren't expecting it, you have to react quickly. So it's a little, what do you call it, unorthodox, I guess, to, to use it for volleyball, but I've been enjoying it a lot. It's good cardio as well. Honestly, I can't wait to see how it translates on the court. I haven't actually been on the court, so that'll be interesting to see as well. <laughs> like you said, you haven't been on the court and we've been spending so much time in our homes, more than usual, and spending time on Zoom, probably more than we ever have, just like this interview is on Zoom. So I'm gonna have you take me inside your space and what you've been doing a little bit with some classic show and tell for something for you to show our AU fans. Let me get the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, what's your show and tell? So I've always been knitting. I've knitted since I was in the sixth grade. And then recently on TikTok, I saw a girl knit chunky blankets. And I was like, I know how to do that. Like, I can definitely do that. And the cool thing is, is you do it with your hands, right? So like, I don't actually need, um, what do you call it? Uh, knitting needles to like start knitting. Like I can just start knitting right now. I was trying to think of gifts that were more personalized. Mm -hmm. So I made my friend for her birthday a blanket, a really, really nice blanket. And I made another friend of mine a blanket as well. And I'm thinking maybe like that could be my holiday presents this year, you know. I don't know. It's just, it's just, I like being creative. I like doing things with my hands or whatever I can put like myself into. So knitting was definitely something I had to, had to get back into with quarantine. Obviously, you spent a majority of your professional career so far in Turkey. What are some things that you enjoyed about living there, whether it was the food or the people or the weather? Yeah, the food is amazing. So this may sound bad, but there's, um, what do you call it, like the, tur the currency difference. So like a dollar for us could be like $7 for Turkey. So wow. imagine something that's like 14 Turkish lira is only $2. And like you keep going up and up, right? So to eat like an amazing like five star meal wasn't terrible for our pockets. Like it's like fifteen dollars or something. So we were like living the life, you know, going out to nice dinners and going to nice restaurants all the time. So the food definitely is like bar none. Like and it's not that it's Turkish food either. It's just regular like. For example, the burgers there, I, the burgers are just better or the fries are just better. And I mean, I love food, so that would be my favorite part. But yeah, definitely the food is just chef's kiss. A of cuisine destination. Wow. <laughs> I have a volleyball would you rather question for you. Ooh, so okay. would you rather serve a flat ball an entire game or play three straight games on a saggy net? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, flat balls really hurt, like, when they hit your platform. But a sagging net, like, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess let's go with the flat ball because at least the net is the regular height. And because think about it, like, the women that we play against, they're huge. They're just as tall as me, like, or taller. So at least with the ball, we can have some sort of normalcy. You segued into my next segment perfectly, talking about height. So obviously, pro volleyball players are taller than your average Joe, is just an easy way to say it. So I have three celebrities that I'm going to okay. have you guess if you think you are taller or shorter than these celebrities. Okay. So the first one is Blake Lively, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and the third one is Rob Gronkowski. So I definitely am taller than Blake. But I know she's tall, but I'm she taller is. than her. And The Rock, we might be about the same height, or he might be a teensy bit shorter. And the last guy, is he a football player? Mm hmm I would say we're like, he's within like two inches of me, either taller or shorter, but I don't know. You did well. <laughs> <laughs> 
So obviously we did Ask a Pro this week. We had fans send in some questions for you. So I've got a couple for you. John Sellers wants to know, do you have any pre-game pre rituals, feud, food, music, et cetera? You know, I tried to be that person in college. I really did. I wanted like a cool pre-game, like, you know, meal and like this and that. I'm really not that person. And I'll tell you why. Throughout the week, I'm preparing, right? I'm watching film. I'm like studying each player. I'm studying my position. So I don't have to do much before the game. I definitely like to warm up, though. I will say that's been a part of my new routine, like as a pro. Um, I mean, in college, too. But now I'll go to the bike, like, 30 minutes to an hour, usually like an hour before a game or before we have to report. And I'll just bike and warm up my knees. That way I'm already sweating by the time we warm up. You know, it's really hard to get warm. Like, I'd rather already be warm so when I'm getting warm, I'm hot. I don't know, but it, it's just really good for my joints. How do you think this audience and the American volleyball audience is going to react to finally getting to watch pro volleyball right there on the channels that they're used to watching yeah I think it's going to be a powerful reaction I think the biggest thing is just making sure we spread the word and you know let people know to let someone else know to let someone else know like there is professional volleyball here and people don't really see professional volleyball unless it's the Olympics and then they're like whoa that's amazing and then it goes quiet for four more years you know mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be really cool for people to see like don't worry, we're not just good in the Olympics. Like this is all year round type of thing. So I, I really hope people adapt to that and, and are interested in seeing more of that. Well, Sheridan, thank you so much for joining me on Athletes Unplugged. I hope our fans got to know you a little bit better and maybe Definitely. they fell in love today on the Zoom call oh. and we'll be rooting for you oh. this season. <laughs> you guys are sweet. <laughs> Thanks.